Hello and welcome back to another tutorial training video on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at left backs, right backs, left wing backs and right wing backs. They all have the same stats and training scenarios and we're going to take a hold of uh, David Alaba here from Bayern Munich at current stage. He's at 86 in career mode and uh, he has a potential of 88 but I think we'll be able to get him a little bit higher than that even with one season of training. So I'm going to jump across to an edited version where he will be 99. We will look at his key stats then we will jump into a career mode, train him up for a season, uh, show you the key training uh, areas to train uh, a wing back in, and uh, let's get into this video. Right, so 99 rated David Alaba. Let's go in and have a look at the key stats for a wing back. All right, so obviously, this is the created player. I'll basically go through reduce everything to a zero and then increase them one by one up to 99 and we can work out the stat difference and uh, the key areas of training that will be needed once we get into career mode. So we jump into attack and uh, there's a few interesting stats here. Uh, crossing at 99 is worth uh, nine points of his overall. So for every 11 points in his training, he will go up in one point. Heading is worth four, so uh, not a big key stat here, but uh, definitely helpful, and definitely helpful for a defender. Uh, so for every 25 points in heading accuracy, he will go up in one key point. Short passing, this is worth seven um, of his overall, of course. So for every 14.3 points, he will go up in one. Let's move on to the next one in defending. Obviously a key stat for a defender. Now uh, marking is worth plus eight. So for every 12 and a half points, he'll go up in one. Stand tackle is worth 11. So for every nine points, he'll go up one. And slide tackle is a big one. One of the key um, points I found here for the wing backs, it is worth plus 14. So 14 points from uh, slide tackling. So for every, uh, what have we got? 7.2 points, he will go up in one overall of rating. Skill wise, well, it's only the ball control that comes into play and this is worth plus seven. So for every 14.3 points, he'll go up in one. If we move into power, it's just his stamina. Uh, this is worth plus eight. So every 12.5 points, he will go up in one. Uh, movement, acceleration, and sprint speed and reactions. Now these three you cannot train. So if you're out there looking for a wing back, um, maybe go and look for uh, physically strong probably so that you can get someone with some decent acceleration and sprint speed. Um, possibly a winger. Um, if you could get some sort of a glitched wing back where he has lots of pace in that, you're gonna get a very high rated uh, left or right back. So acceleration worth plus five, uh, sprint speed plus seven, and reactions plus eight. The last one in is in mentality, and that is interceptions, which is worth plus 14. So the key stats really for your wing backs is his defensive capabilities. We're going to jump into a career mode now. I'm going to simulate a full season, uh, show you the key training points for a wing back, and we'll see what rating we can get to Alaba to by the end of one season. All right, so we are at the end of the first season of career mode. Uh, it is the 17th of June, 2018. Bayern Munich absolutely smashed the league with 82 points. Let's jump in and look at the key training positions here for a wing back. Um, so we load up the previous sessions. Now the first one and first and foremost, if you're only gonna train in one spot, um, the best one is obviously defending endurance. It covers interceptions, marking, slide tackling, and stand tackle. And that will cover 47 points of his overall. So almost half just by training him in that one position. Obviously, if you do overtrain, uh, you may glitch out a youth player and um, He'll, he'll get to a very high rating, but uh, all those other stats won't start growing. So just be careful with that. If you need some more uh, information on that kind of stuff, please feel free to go and check out Bama Striker 9's channel. He has a lot of training and tutorial stuff on youth players and how to scout and all that good stuff. So go and check out Bama Striker 9. Uh, next, we have dribbling possession. This covers stamina and ball control, worth 15 points of his overall. So that would be number two on my list. Uh, the next one, well, the next three, really are uh, just if if they're low enough in a certain area and, and you want to get that quick bounce up in there uh, overall so advanced crossing crossing there of course is worth plus nine uh, through the gates is therefore the short passing which is plus seven and the final one is high pressure finishing and that's basically just for the heading accuracy but what I have found is that uh, that one was actually quite good there for Alba because his heading accuracy wasn't the best. So uh, he's increased uh, quite a fair bit just by using that uh, high pressure finishing uh, scenario. So we'll simulate this all and we'll go and have a look at his stats and how he's finished up the season. All right, so here we have David Alaba. Uh, Alaba. 
Alaba. Uh, at the end of the first season, I've trained him in all five slots for every single week of this first season. He had a potential of 88. We've got him up to 91. He's about 91 and a half, to be fair, and he has gone up plus five. So uh, let's go in here and have a look. Um, so he's gone up in acceleration as well, which will help him out, of course. Something we cannot train. And his reaction's up to 85. Interceptions went up 5 to 90. Attack position up 4 to 81. His stamina up 4 to 91. Now, he didn't have the little green squiggle arrow, so you know he didn't benefit from a high-level training. But uh, we still managed to push him up plus 5 in a season. Looking at his technical attributes, his ball control went up 7 to 90. Crossing up 6 to 88. Uh, dribbling there up... To 3 to 82. Uh, heading accuracy went up plus 6 to 81. Long passing 84. Short passing 85. He's marking up 7 to 88. Stand tackle 88 plus 5. Slide tackle 88 plus 5. And his volley's up 5 to 73. Now, um, he's still got 12 points there for his marking. So another season, yeah, there's no there's no reason why we probably couldn't push him to a good 93, 94 rated. But uh, it's a lot of time to be uh, putting into one player. So, you know, probably a little bit unrealistic, but you get to see the opportunities that you have if you do have that marquee player that you want to turn into an absolute beast. Uh, I just want to see if his strength went up. Obviously, it's not here on the list. He does have the long shot taker trait. Um, we'll jump into the normal uh, formation and just have a quick look at his strength. Right, so the one issue here with Alaba probably is his strength. It's not a key attribute for his overall, but for me, I like a player that can, you know, use a bit of muscle, and, and when those big strikers come in, if he's whipping his way back into the box to help out the defense, I like him to be able to get in there and hold his own. So probably a little bit low in strength for my kind of style player, but, you know, he would be an out-and-out -out, uh, winger, that is for sure. So um, that's where we will leave this training episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed that one and that's helped you out a little bit there with some wingbacks. Uh, if there's other positions that you would like that haven't been featured already on the channel, please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll uh, try and get one of those out for you as soon as possible. But that's all we've got time for today. Thank you very much. We will see you in the next episode of something on this channel. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one.